What's going on? It's your boy Big China. It's Monday night. I'm with my boy Mike Detoli. How's it going? That's right. We're gonna do something completely different now. You know, everybody's always going out to Lake Winnipeg, Lake Winnipeg, and Lake Winnipeg. And you know what? We're gonna do something completely different and show you guys something. Hopefully it works. But we're just gonna fish here in Winnipeg. <laughs> Yeah, close to home. Well, you know, we, we've done it before and we've, we, we've caught some big walleyes and it's this time of year in March that uh, there's some big walleyes that are roaming around the waters out there and you know what, I'm hoping walleye or jacks, it don't matter. I mean, I just want to get onto some fish inside the city and show you guys. It's a lot of fun, but you know I mean, one thing I want everyone to be, be careful about is, you mean, just make sure if you're going to try this and we're going to go test it out because it might not work. Uh, with all the water coming up, up up from North Dakota, we just want to make sure we can get on this ice safely, uh, get out there, and hopefully get a nice little night bite here out in Winnipeg, and uh, show you some kind of footage. Are you excited, buds? I'm always excited to go fishing. <laughs> when was the last time you went out here, anyways? Uh, probably uh, about eight years ago in a boat. Eight years ago in a boat. So you mean we probably could use a boat today, but we're gonna walk out, we're gonna test it out, and have some fun. So stick around. There you go. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, did you see that? Oh, wow. Look at that. She came right off the bottom, smoked right up, smashed my life target. Holy crow. This is what we're telling everyone about. You don't have, can someone, someone's calling me. <laughs> probably my mom, <laughs> she probably knows I'm fishing. <laughs> Woo! This made the video, <laughs> this made my night. I'm so happy to get this. Oh man, I'm still jacked. <laughs> I got that big crow. I'm so happy. You have no idea. What are we at? 7:20. It's 7:20. We probably got another like 40 minutes still to fish. I missed two. Mike's, Mike missed a big one just like two seconds ago. Winnipeg Red River walleye, and these kids have been hanging out in the current like all summer, all winter. Man, when they when they when they smash your bait. They go, they, they are tanks, and that's what I love about catching like like river walleye. They are so much fun to catch. I enjoy catching like Lake Winnipeg walleye, but they're a little bit fat and lazy. But these ones, these ones are like, these are athletes, they're tough. So let's try to get another one before the end of the night. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's a nice little eater, eh? It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it came in off the bottom a couple of times. I mean, I knew it wasn't a really, really big one, but I mean, it's like sunset. The sun's down now, and you know what? They're, they're starting to come in. That's what I found a lot of times with the Red River. I mean, I get a really, really good, like, night bite, like, like right at this time where it's almost dark, and then you give it another 20 minutes for them, their eyes to adjust, and they turn back on again. But I don't know how it is in the ice in winter, but hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm happy with this. <laughs> Dude, it's been good. We've been marking lots, so let's get her back in. There you go. There she gone. Oh no! 
<laughs> I heard it. I heard. I heard. He's like, that one is not getting away. That's all good, bro. Look at that. He's like, I've been working you all day. So, you know. <laughs> I heard the rip and I'm like, oh, he's on. He's on. That's like two, two fish in like five minutes. It could be the witching hour. It could be turning on. Sunset on the Red River. It has to be when the sun is past the trees. It's way back there. So we're, I, we, we can't leave now. We got we to gotta give it another 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully we pound into a big one. So they're coming off the bottom. Oh, yeah. What's up, Goozy? What's that? Oh, it's dark. Oh, man, there you have it, bro. Holy crow, it's 8.30. How was that? It was awesome. Man, you know what? Being just 10 minutes away from home, five, five minutes for you, to be able to come out here and do some actually really good walleye fishing. The thing is, you know, it's not fast and furious. No, but I missed three. You missed like a, a big one. You missed a couple big ones. Yeah. They're there, uh, and it actually makes it more worthwhile when they when they hit. Man, it was wow. It was awesome. It was awesome being in March and coming out onto the Red River. Uh, always want everyone to use precaution. Yeah. Obviously, right? Because you know, with the warm weather and stuff. So we did take some precaution. We made sure we had a. We walked out. We, we walked out in the right spots. But you mean it's at the end of the day, it's still just a fish. Yeah, life is life is a lot more important than a fish. And we tested out the water. It was like two two feet deep, and it was pretty solid. I mean, yeah. it was a little soft at some spots, but you know what? It looked it was really solid. There was no shifting, and you know what? With this cold weather coming in, it just looked a little scary because the water was high. Uh, the ice was higher than it just dropped in a buckle day. So you're like, whoa. Yeah. It kind of makes you think about it. But like at the end of the day, like I said. Fun day, good buddies, inside Winnipeg. We pounded a 29 a quarter, got a couple nice eaters, missed a few big ones. It was awesome. Thanks, Mike, for coming out. Any time, buddy. Other than that, enjoy. Uh, if you like the videos, don't forget, please subscribe. Give us a like on Facebook and on YouTube at Big China Outdoors. Other than that, we are out of here. Peace.